What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes. So it has been a few days since uh, Book 3 for Fey has concluded and I really wanted to make my review and just give out my thoughts and uh, what my hopes are for Book 4 which is probably going to be starting in December. So Book 3 was definitely better than Book 2 but as it is, like Book 2 didn't really set any kind of height standard so it was pretty easy to be better than Book 2. Let's talk about the OC of this book, Air. Uh, so I absolutely love her design, love everything about her. Her voice acting is also really, really good. And I believe like she has got the same voice actress as Marianne from Three Houses. Which is kind of strange because both of them are pretty depressed for the most part. Um, so I really like Air, her design, her voice acting, and even as a unit, like Air is so good. You guys have seen me use her in my free to play guides. And uh, like Air is still the best mythic hero we have got in the game, even after one year. And we don't really have any other offensive light mythic hero. We do have Naga for Astra, but like Naga absolutely sucks when you compare her to Air and the amount of utility Air can bring. So like she's really, really good as an OC. Um, this story in general had a lot of similarities to the story of uh, FE7, Blazing Sword. I could see it in many parts of the story. Lif and Thrasir were also pretty good for the most part, especially Lif. I'm gonna be talking about him more. Um, and their relationship as a whole was uh, pretty sad actually. In one of the chapters they just talk and Veronica, or I guess Thrasir, says that. It's kind of strange how they have this relationship when before this they used to be enemies. So it's pretty much a relationship they built up because of sharing the same pain. And at start, like, we got to see Alphonse's father. I mean, even before that, everyone knew he was gonna die. It's like a, it's like such an obvious thing in Fire Emblem. It's like getting surprised that you're facing Bowser at the end of a Mario game. It's really just like that. At first, everyone thought he's just way too strict, but at the end, he did save Alphonse. And then I guess uh, Alphonse and other viewers just go into Hell's territory. The best part about the story is uh, Alphonse, I guess. Like, this book definitely explored Alphonse more as a character and definitely made people like Alphonse more. One of the best part is basically when Alphonse's challenge is uh, hell to curse him because he says that he knows he cannot die before the ninth day and before that and until then he would just completely infiltrate her domain and know what kind of weakness she has got and that was just a bluff but hell not cursing him just pretty much told Alphonse that she does have a weakness and I mean at the end they did use that weakness to kill hell uh, by performing that ritual so like Alphonse was extremely like confident um, and that, so I really, really enjoyed that. Like, Alphonse is not a Fire Emblem Lord who, like, trusts the power of friendship as, like, some of the other Lords, or is just very overconfident in his fighting capability. He's more of an analytical type of Lord, and I really enjoy that, actually. Honestly, I never expected this kind of depth from Alphonse when, like, Faye first came out, but it's really, really good. So, Lif is, like, extremely cool. We also had that cutscene which they uploaded, I guess not really a cutscene, a trailer, which they uploaded to YouTube and I really really enjoyed that. So it's really always interesting to see how heroes are affected when like things do not go their way and like the hero is the one to lose. And that was the case with Liv, he completely lost his sanity and everything and at the end like when he talks to Sharina, he finds like what has he been doing this whole time. If a Sharina was alive, like she would definitely not condone his actions. So he, so he questions his way, but it's already quite late for that. Uh, Veronica also teams up with Order of Heroes. It's still a shame how we have not got a uh, normal Veronica as a playable unit. Uh, like especially with this book, a lot of people were expecting her to be given out as a free unit. Uh, Veronica is like super cold in this entire book. She doesn't care about Loki at first. And then she's so cold while killing Thrasir, her older self. So yeah, that's that. And overall, I think it was a decent book. The ending was quite rushed, in my opinion. Um, didn't really have a lot of dialogues, and that's the problem with the like, the delivery of of the dialogues doesn't really have an impact a lot of times because. Um, like, it doesn't have any kind of cutscenes. Like, you- okay, I get it. You do not want to have these cutscenes in a phone game because Faye is already a pretty heavy phone game. Like, you could at least have, like, still images, uh, like they used to have in older Fire Emblem games. Even that works out, so I hope they actually do that. And because of that, like, I felt the ending to be a bit rushed. In the ending, I didn't really expect that, uh, like, Air was not a child of Hell. Uh, so once again, the FE7 similarities come in. Uh, where Hell basically killed the parents of Air and just took her in. Like, she did have the Dragon of Life blessing, I think, or something. Like, 
That's why air is able to hold on to many lives compared to other mortals and I really didn't like at the end how air was sad that hell was dying like why would you be sad like come on she basically used you as a cheat code to get maximum lives <laughs> she killed you again and again like why why would you do that any kind of relationship has highs and lows but uh, an abusive relationship has like hundred lows and maybe one high and you stay for one high and air stayed for that one high and air remembers the good times which is just just nonsense i really didn't like that honestly um so that's that once again my biggest complaint is like there is no cutscene nothing to really impact the story a lot of times and a lot of times there is not really as much of a dialogue present in the story now lift definitely had a good amount of dialogues but like that's why i feel like the ending was rushed not enough dialogue um, if we saw like some kind of cutscene graphic with uh, Air being completely bruised while she was telling her backstory, like that would have much bigger impact. So that's definitely a pretty big weakness of Faye. Um, the other thing which I absolutely dislike is uh, the fact that these random characters just have this irrelevant dialogue which has no connection with the story or anything. They just introduce themselves. Like I, I can see your name, okay? It says right there. You don't need to tell me that you're Keaton. Um, like at least the characters could take the effort to say something about the story like how it's going on with them and how they feel about this because obviously we know they are under the contract of hell like at least say something uh, that would make it a bit more interesting having this kind of conflict uh, also I was expecting Surtur on the final map because I believe we had a paralogue when we like saw dead Surtur who was being controlled by hell and it would make sense uh, for him to be there because he obviously hates Order of Heroes. Uh, but unfortunately he wasn't, so that was pretty weird. So those are all of my gripes with uh, Book 3 and uh, Faye's story in general. So I think those things really hold back Faye's story. And if I had to give a rating to Book 3, I would give it like 5 out of 10 maybe. Because it was definitely a step in right direction compared to Book 1 and Book 2. But still there's definitely room for them to improve and make the story even more interesting. So let me know in the comment section down below uh, about your thoughts on Book 3 of Faye, uh, if you enjoyed it or not. And now I'll go over my hopes for Book 4. So my first hope is to get a duo OC. So when Legendary Heroes were introduced into the game, we got Fiorm uh, as a free reward from the story. Then when Mythic Heroes were introduced, we got Air. And now duo heroes are a new thing, so I'm really expecting and I'm really hoping they could give us some kind of duo OC. That would be pretty good. I mean, it could be anything, a couple, brother, sister, just two friends. I mean, it's up to them. It's gonna be an OC. Um, and uh, I would really like them to have some kind of cutscene graphics uh, for these kinds of important story parts to just drill home the impact. They already have access to such talented artists who can draw these uh, character arts. So why not just commission one of them to draw the cutscene graphics which you could have in the story and it wouldn't take as much space as the videos would if you had that. So yeah, that's definitely my hope and I hope they can fix their random dialogue from random characters in between the story. At least say something relevant to the story, just don't introduce yourself, come on. Um, and definitely a better story, better writing I guess, that could keep the interest of players. This was still decently done, but hopefully they could have even better uh, story than book 3. And hopefully they incrementally improving in terms of story because right now, like Forging Bonds honestly has a lot of story and really really interesting dialogues compared to the actual story of uh, Faye. So that's what I feel like because Forging Bonds has definitely improved quite a bit uh, over the few months in terms of dialogues. It's honestly really fun. So I hope they can do something like that to really have the interest of players. And Fiorm is still alive, I guess, so I don't know if Book 2 was canon or not. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like. It is going to be helping me tremendously. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Mom Heroes and uh, Three Houses content. And please be sure to hit the notification bell and click on all so that you can always get the updates to my videos whenever I upload. Because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as the random dialogues which banner units have in Story of Fate. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.